Are we live? Are we live? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Let me know if you can see me and hear me. <clears throat> Shoot, dang. All right. It always takes just a second for it to uh, kick in and like the comments and stuff go real quick. I don't know. It's always, this is really awkward right now. Okay, cool. First comment, Grumpy Grandpa Patriot. See you and hear you. All righty. Kristen's World that Outdoors. So, shoot dang. I am just shoot danged out today. Got all sorts of camo shoot dang bang bang gear on. And you guys don't have any. <laughs> God. What up, cold beer? Oh, Jason with the uh, dad jokes. He can't see me because I'm wearing camo. Maybe I should... I'll pull the camera down a second, like, just like that, so you can see the uh, shoot dang stuff. What's up, Jovita? I shaved again today, just for you guys. Every live, I shave once a week. Trim this down. Still got my hair growing out. What's up, Mom and Dad? I was going to feature Mom and Dad's channel tonight, but I'm going to feature another one tonight. If you can see that up there. The real Matt Crocker. Since he'll be up here next week, I think. And maybe my next live, he might be up here. <clears throat> He's probably not tuning in, though, so I should probably not feature him. So I'll let Matt uh, – oh, I just hit my heater. Um, I'll let Matt tell you everything that's going on with his life, but he is going to be coming up here for a little while and helping me out with things. I need help. I got a lot of stuff on my plate. We're going to start Shoot Dang Bang Bang merch. Uh, Jason will be coming down too. It is the uh, – looking at my watch like I can actually see it. It's the 21st. So at the end of this month, Matt's going to be coming up from South Texas. Jason will be coming down from Oklahoma. And all three of us are going to be together at my place, and we're going to do a lot of work, and we're going to get this Shoot Dang Bang Bang merch knocked out. It's going to be a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. Whose video is that up there? I knew, Man, I knew you were going to say something. This old son right here, Perfect Conditions. If you don't know who that is, that's Jared Crocker. Check him out on YouTube. <laughs> Got him. That's old Matt Payne from the Payne family. He just hit over 4,000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. Want to know how to say shoot dang and carny? Sure. What up, big wave? Des the hobo traveling nurse in the house. I, I, I'm not, I was, I'm not going to get into it. I keep squinting my eyes like I'm trying to read stuff. I was going to say a, a comment, but I'm getting away from that kind of talk. <clears throat> Matt is here with us. We are eating menudo and watching. Well, shoot, dang. I saw y'all, uh, mom and dad at the uh, Crocker Simply Southern. They went out to eat and stuff. And uh, I saw them going through Walmart. And I'm like, how did y'all, first off, how did y'all film that much and not get kicked out? Because last time I filmed at Walmart, they wanted to kick me out. I also had underwear on my head. But I saw y'all were making, a, or we're going to make some menudo. I like menu though. I just don't like the the fat meat of it. I like just the the hominy and the soup part of it. I'm gonna steal the press before Jason takes it. <laughs> you would. You're a thief. What's up, Hack Creek Homestead? The mower mechanic or the the mower medic one? What's up? Shizu Dzang. <laughs> What up, Lila? Uh, why is the video so blurry? I don't know. I have crappy internet. It's, it is what it is. Uh, are you sick? Allergies? I hope not. I feel fine. 
I must look sick. I'm sorry. Smash the like button, folks. Hello from Scotland. What's up, Julie Smith? Selena's world. Was it your daughter? I think they got flown to the hospital. If so, I hope they're okay. I saw it on Facebook. Uh, what's up, the Rusty Pepper? My El my Alabama Farm Life. Good evening. Logged in just in time. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Hobita says uh, Menudo is good for hangovers. Yeah, well, they say the mic's good, but the video's blurry. I'm sorry. I got, I'm not even going to say the word. I got horrible internet. So Daisy is good. Um, I am going to be taking her on Tuesday to get spayed. She is, uh, she has no idea. And I'm hoping that it calms her down a little bit. And obviously I don't want any little uh, puppies around here. So there are wild dogs or uh, the neighbor's dogs that kind of roam around and stuff. And I don't want her getting knocked up. So I'm taking her Tuesday and she's going to get spayed. So be a good daddy and make sure that uh, my baby don't get knocked up. I don't need no baby daddies. <clears throat> yes, I know, people. My internet sucks. I don't know what else to tell y'all. It's the same thing every time. <clears throat> oh, let's see. I love fried tripe. Yummy. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Menudo, a.k.a. Dookie shoot Soup. <laughs> I haven't had Menudo probably since high school, I think. But uh, I don't I don't like the fatty meat. I'll drink the juice and everything, but the rest of it, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's called being a responsible pet owner. Yeah. I mean, I had Tucker fixed, and then, uh, I don't know, every dog I've, I've normally had, I've adopted from an animal shelter, so they've already been fixed. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take her on Tuesday. So she'll be good. She'll be a little bit out of it on Tuesday. And then uh, I said it, that the other dogs are going to like it because she's going to – I hope that she calms down a little bit. She's still in her puppy stages. She has uh, used my couch – as a chew toy, I sent a picture to my my family. I uh, almost strangled her because she chewed half of my armrest off my couch. I wasn't too happy with that, but it is what it is. That's part of having animals. Well, it's like guts or something, Aaron. I think the manudo. I think it's like the innards of a uh, whatever animal it is. Uh, Sandy Wilkerson says, hi, Crocker, Simply Southern. The barn looks great. Thanks, Kimmy's uh, Halls Craft some more. Um, I was actually out there today. I got rid of some, uh, <laughs> some of the tools that didn't work. There's been stuff out there that's probably been there since I, we got the property three or four years ago. And, uh, I went out there today on my day off. I didn't film anything, but I got rid of stuff that, that didn't work. I couldn't get it to start or anything and uh, put it out by the road. And every single thing I put out by the road is gone. Uh, <clears throat> is Jason okay with putting the hole in the roof for the stove or was I supposed to say anything? I don't know. I've, I have that's news to me. I didn't know he did that. Unless you're just trying to stir up a little fire. What's up, Tillman Family Farm? The Weirded Budsman. I had to read that twice. I I know what you did there with your title on your, your channel. It's very clever. Uh, hey there, loving your channel so far. What advice would you have for a new channel just starting out? A $5 super chat from The Weirded Budsman. Um... Don't get upset when you don't get a lot of views. Um, don't get upset when you lose subscribers. 
that's just a that's a part of YouTube. The when you download the the YouTube Studio app, your uh, subscribers go up and down constantly, and so does your revenue. And uh, well, I guess your revenue wouldn't at that point because you're still new. But uh, don't get upset whenever uh, your views don't take off immediately. Like I don't know, some people think that as soon as you get on YouTube, you're instantly going to get a hundred thousand views and stuff like that. It doesn't. Um, I mean, you could. It's hit or miss, but um, take it slow. Post videos as much as you can. Uh, just like Jason said last time on his video, um, that's basically all you can do and just hope for the best. Julie says she can see me just fine. Joanne says, I'm loving all your content. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of, lot of work this week. I'll tell you that. I was feeling it, so I had to take a day off. I may take two days off. I'm still feeling it. Get away to crazy now. The says almost 300 watching, but less than 150 thumbs up. Come on, people. Come on for the crazy lady in Alabama. Smash the like button, people. Let's get up to 200 at least. Do it for her. Spade dogs don't live as long. I would like to see some research on that because... I've had a spayed dog that lived to 16 years old or something like that, 15 or 16. You could be totally right, but I'm not trusting you on that because my dog Hurley was spayed and she lived a long time. I think it depends on what you feed them and how you take care of them. Uh, the Crocker says, my next video will be video number 600 insane. That is, I wonder, what, I think I'm like at, 400 something like that it is nuts when you look back and see how many videos you did i can see my hair like my hair's getting long by the way look at that 35 years old still a full set of hair yeah buddy i ain't like old matt Payne where he looks like this all the way back no i got a full set of hair Uh, Paul Honeyman, Journey Along with Shannon, Lila Newton, High Girls. Dang. Getaway to Crazy Now. Bama says, picture is clear now. It's hit or miss. My uh, router is like right on the other side of the wall. Hopefully it works. Florida Chick Adventures, I can't see you with all that camo on. Dang. <laughs> What's up, Greenhorn One Acre? $20 super chat for your YouTube career development. Watch everything you do, buddy. Thanks so much for that. I got to give you a little salute. If y'all don't know who Greenhorn and One Acre is, go over check out his channel. Build a little tiny house off grid. Like I said, my other live chats, he just sits there on his coffee and stuff. Just chills can be. Super nice guy. Uh, let's see. Hello from Kentucky. What's up, Vicky? How far away from Grand Prairie, Texas, do you live? Uh, I'm going to guess an hour, something like that. I'm on the east side of DFW. Grand Prairie is kind of on the west side. Melissa Brunson says three dislikes. That's not bad. Just give it a few minutes. It'll go up. I promise you that. Mutts live forever. They do. I don't think I've ever had a full bread dog before it's always been a mutt of some sort it's either a rescue or i get them from somebody uh the meat used is called tripe which is the lining of cow stomach you know what i think i've have i had that i want to say i tried cooking that before without the soup i know it's the innards of the of the animal the cow Jared, do you think Jason, wait, Jared, do you, I should probably read comments before I, instead of reading them out loud. Let me see. Um, Sandra Quintana, I don't know. Uh, I talked to Jason several different times and asked if he wanted to take some of my chickens and stuff. And um, I mean, it is what it is. I think it, it depends on if he can keep all of his animals in the fence. Uh, there's a lot of people that bash him. And uh, I just want to backhand a lot of people, but uh, we've done anything and everything we can to keep those goats in the fence. And they still seem to get out. Uh, 
I actually texted him earlier and he said for the time being, they seem like they're staying in. I don't want to get too much into it in case he's doing a video on it. But uh, yeah, we have discussed him taking uh, some of my hens because I have about, I think, a dozen hens or so. And I said he could take half of them if he wants because I get, I could probably get about 10 eggs a day and there's no way I can eat that much eggs. Let it grow out and do a mullet. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My, I mean, in the back, it's long, but the whole, like, all of it's long. I don't know. This is probably the longest I've ever had in my hair, where it's past my eyebrows. My hair is dark, too. I don't know. I have not dyed it. I don't know. Kind of weird. I figured, why not? This is my time to live my life. I'm going to let my hair grow out and see uh, see what happens. Sue Jackson says, it's always good to rescue a dog. It is. Sandra wants to know what my dinner was for today. I ate a uh, jalapeno, uh, what are they called? The kettle chips, like the crunchy ones. And then uh, I had a sandwich, and that was it. A very uh, basic sandwich, too, because I didn't buy any condiments. I didn't have any mustard. So I had just bread and... Uh, I think it was the uh, salami, like the cheap little round ones that look kind of like bologna, because that's how it roll. You look so young with your cap off. Don't mind if I do. Your ranch looks nice. Thanks, Susan. Goat chops, yummy. <laughs> We'll have to get uh, some drink some cold beer and eat some uh, goat chops. Miss Eyes five one two says I can't get over your hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Payne family. Matt Payne says he's gonna look like Schmeagel from uh, Lord of the Rings. If he uh, lets his hair grow out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> the kettle dill pickle. Uh, what did that say? The kettle dill pickle chips are the best. I don't know if I've had those. I've had like the, I like salt and vinegar chips. I like the uh, jalapeno kind. Uh, just a normal, I like kettle chips. I like that crunch to it. Um, I might need to try that one out. Oh, uh, let's see. Don't worry about it, Jason. You're doing very best you can. Yeah, he is. And like I said, I can witness that. We spent all day stacking up wood. You turn around, the freaking goat's standing on top of it. I'm like, Ugh. if I'm frustrated, I know Jason is. Shoot dang hippie, do you have a peel box, Lisa Bell? I do. Um, go back in my other videos. I don't know. I don't even know what my peel box is. It's out in Quinlan, but if you check out my other videos, it's in the description down below. <laughs> oh man, backwoods mindset says I have a feeling we're all going to be eating goat tacos at the meetup. <laughs> Sue Jackson had some pizza. Pizza sounds good. Shoot bang from Indiana. What's up, Cheryl? I'm having a, a box of Girl Scout cookies, said Green One Acres. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> Lou Hickson, a $49.99 Super Chat. Get some groceries. Thank you so much for that. Oh, man. That helps out a lot. I got to... I got a little good. I can't be like the younger brother that has my brother coming up to help me out. And I can't, I have to feed him. He has to have something to eat. That'll definitely help out. I'll fill up my freezer and stuff for him. All right. Let me catch up with some of these comments. I'm a little behind here. Uh, apparently I look young. When I shave this down, you can still see a little bit of white hair, but when my beard grows out, it's definitely a lot of a lot of white hair in my chin.
No, I don't do man buns. Uh uh. Sorry, Sherry. I draw a line somewhere. Now, I will grow out a man bun if I can get 1,000 likes on this video. I'm only at 287, though, so good luck with that. There you go, Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips are sh the shoot dang. That is, that's one of the, my favorite chips right there. That brand. What's up, Corey and Cynthia Davis? Yum, the chips are great. Uh, <laughs> Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show said, I studied how to go antiviral, thinking on making a video about it. Go for it, man. I think that'd be, I'd watch it. No, crazy in Alabama, or wrong person. Sorry about that. I saw Alabama, and I instantly thought the crazy lady from Alabama. Uh, my Alabama farm life, did the rain finally stop up your way? Oh, at getaway. You were talking to her. I'll say my place is still raining. So I was technically right with that comment. No, um, <laughs> Amelia Aker says, no, man, bum, please. Hail to the no. Uh-uh. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. I'm not doing a man bun. Next thing I know, I'll be wearing girl pants and uh, booties or whatever those shoes are called. Hobie just says, thank God, no man bun. Heck yeah, there's no man bun here. Uh-uh. Oh, let's see. Enjoy watching your family and keep up the great video or the great. Oh, sorry. I was trying to make up my own comment. <laughs> the great job. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Biddy Boo is in the house. What's up, Biddy Boo? She says, love what you did with the patio. Barn looks good, too. Thank you so much, man. Biddy Boo, you have saved my life out in the barn. You don't know how much I appreciate the, uh, the nesting box that you gave us and then the uh, rabbit hutch and stuff. Man, I tell you what, you're such a blessing to us. Baked potato, fried okra, pork chops is what I'm having. Anita Phillips. Man, that sounds good. Not, I, I am a sucker for some really good fried okra. Oh, man. Anytime I go up to Jason's and we go up to uh, the Harvest House, which is the local restaurant, that's why I, I try to get okra. It's so good there. When will Matt be coming up? At the end of the month, I don't have an exact day, but today's the 21st, and I'm thinking a week from now, maybe, maybe this next weekend. Um, he'll be up here for sure, though. It's it's going to happen in the next year or so, and uh, I don't know. We're going to have some – Matt and I are the crazy ones. Jason is just dumb. Matt and I are crazy, so we're going to have some pretty cool videos. If y'all don't know who Matt is, go to his, his channel. It's right up here. The real Matt Crocker, he's at 6.47, 6,470-something subscribers. We can get him to 6,500, right? I mean, he's only you're only talking about 30 people subscribing to his channel? Come on, now we got 500-something people. People. You need housewares, dishes, pots for the mess hall. Got tons of new products for you. Hmm, interesting. Paul Honeyman, a five-pound uh, super chat for the coffee fund. Jared, need the morning coffee. <laughs> Paul Honeyman is the uh, he is the official coffee sponsor of any of the Crockers. That is that's funny. <laughs> Uh, brother Dave, you're almost at 30,000 subscribers. Special video. You know what? I actually thought about that, and I think I'm going to pull out a tr like an old – I'm going to go back in time, back to when I first started my YouTube channel. I called it Jaredneck, J-A-R-E-D-N-E-C-K, Jared Redneck Jaredneck. And I think I'm going to do a 30,000 special, and it's going to be Jaredneck style. And I think it's going to be epic. So that's awesome. And I think I'm coming up close. I'm like at 29,650, something like that. It's about 300 and something away. It's going to be wild. 
maybe I'll uh, film it when Jason and Matt are up here, and then uh, I'll release it when I hit 30K. I just ordered six boxes of Girl Scout cookies waiting for them to be delivered. Dang! You know, I've never been a huge Girl Scout cookie uh, fan, but when I'm at Walmart and they have the girls out there selling stuff, I usually just give them five bucks. I don't even take a box of cookies. I'll let them keep the box, and I just give them, I just basically donate five bucks to them. Uh, I don't know, just because they're they're young and they're trying to make money for whatever they're making money for. Ooh, chicken and dumplings sounds good. Jared, I want to thank you for the turkey and the mystery chick. They're starting to get bigger and are healthy. What's up, Braden Bates? Uh, Braden is the one that I gave. Obviously, I gave the the turkey and the chicken to. That's awesome. Hopefully, the I don't know if you're wanting a male or female or not, but hopefully the turkey's nice because uh, that turkey's dad. He likes ev or he he likes me and he hates everybody else. He always attacks everybody. So hopefully yours is nice. <laughs> Don't play. You know the exact number. <laughs> I really don't. It's like, I know it's 29,006 something. I just look at the, uh, the YouTube studio breaks it down exactly. And then uh, YouTube shows like 29.6. That's usually what I look at. Uh, the mints are the best Girl Scout cookies. Mariah, I'll tell you what. I have never been a fan of anything mint. I like, well, let me let me retract that statement. I like mints. I like breath mints, peppermint, stuff like that. But when you put chocolate with it, that ruins it for me. I can't do it. I know people are going to be like, you're crazy. But I never liked the thin mint cookies or the, uh, the green ice cream, whatever it was. Uh-uh. I just can't do that. It's either one or the other. I can't mix both. And I, I usually like any kind of food, but I just can't do that. Uh, Robert, uh, no last name. I should probably read the comment for this one because this says no last name. Uh, that's a good idea. At home with Tom and Rhonda. What's up? Tom and Rhonda, are you guys going to be going live tonight? So <laughs> this is going to sound very bad and very uh, inappropriate, but Tom gave me some sausage today <laughs> in a cup. He gave me a, it's in my kitchen. He gave me a, it's a, I guess it's his brother-in-law, Rhonda's brother-in-law, uh, made some sausage. So he gave me a, a thing of sausage and then a, a, a coffee mug of at home with Tom and Rhonda. I think it's awesome. So thank you so much to you. And uh, I don't know, it's going to, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to cook that thing up. I didn't know how to say that and not sound inappropriate. So I figured I'd try to explain it a little bit. Kayla Duncan. Hey, I messaged you on Facebook, but only have messenger. Will you check your message request inbox sometime? Uh, I will. Um, I probably have 500 something messages. It's, I don't know. I'm trying to get my Facebook back to just people I know directly and that I've actually met in person. Cause at one point it was, uh, anybody that was on fake or, uh, that followed me on YouTube, I would accept them. But then I had a lot of people start talking trash because I posted certain things. Um, but I will look into that. Do the Black Widows ever get the animals? Uh, not that I know of. I've been here four years now, and I, I'm not a doctor. And I don't think anything's ever died because of the Black Widows, but they are everywhere. Um, as you saw on my barn video yesterday, that's why I wear gloves. If I, uh, I'm very cautious when I'm in the barn. If I'm gonna go pick up something, I make sure I like I kick it or use gloves or something because. One, you got black widows, you got spider, or that is spider, black widows, snakes, or uh, mice or something, and I never know what's going to be out there, but yeah, I don't, I hate spiders with a passion. That's probably the, the most thing that I hate ever. Mm -mm, not today. Uh -uh. Then take it out and pour some A1 steak sauce over them. 
Oh, that's right. That, oh, man. So Tom and Rhonda, shout out to them, at Homer, Tom and Rhonda. Tom texts me and says, hey, I'm at your gate. Come outside. He has the biggest steak I've ever seen that Rhonda cooked up in a baked potato for me and said, here you go. Just have it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, man. I ate that for dinner. I cut that bad boy in half and the potato in half and had that for the next day for lunch. Talk about good neighbors right there. Jesus girl, 499 super chat. Hey Jared, I couldn't resist to keep watching. I just made fried okra. After I just talked about fried okra, how much I liked it. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Jesus girl. Glad to see you back on. I am way behind on comments. Holy cow. I'm sorry, people. Brad's with Valley Soaps. What's up? <laughs> Braden said when he came over, the, the, the dad was just waiting. The, the male turkey that had was just waiting for his chance. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm so far behind on comments. What's up, Joe Nelson? Samoas are those are okay. I like those. Yeah, Randy from uh, uh, keeping it real with Randy and Julie. He's the one who made that sausage. I'm skimming through the comments now to catch back up. I didn't realize how far back I was. I didn't know that Brazos Belly Soaps. Black Widows really only cause problems for elderly and really young. But when I see a spider, I just don't mess with it. Mm -mm. Ooh, eight months of pain for getting bit by a brown recluse? No. Oof. We have those around here, too. I got 18 quarts of okra last year. Dang, that's a lot. We grew okra here one time, but uh, I think you have to pick it at a certain time. If not, it's too hard to, I guess, eat and stuff. But we ended up feeding them to the goats. Yeah, if you don't know who at home with Tom and Rhonda, Matt Payne just put their link on here. They're going to be going live at 8 p.m., I'm going to end my live chat here in a little bit, too, to give you guys time to go over there and check them out. They got puppies. What more do I need to say? Cute puppies. And there's always that one that sleeps on his back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Amelia Akers, did you start your uh, YouTube channel yet? If so, say your name in the comments. Bro, Jill Nelson, really? You don't like okra? Man, fried okra or the way that Jacob Sawyer cooks it? We had it up there at Jason's place. Man, you just fresh okra, put it right over the fire and just cook it like that. Oh, man, that's probably the best okra I've ever had. So we got 564 people and 410 likes. Guys, we have to hit 500 likes. Come on, guys. Shoot dang, get me 500. I know you, some of you people are sliding on the, the hitting that like button. <laughs> They're a nasty little thing. <laughs> uh, Sandra Quintana wants to know what's my favorite out of uh, my favorite chicken out of KFC. Church chicken or Popeyes or whatever. <sighs> it's been forever since I've had any of those, but the most recent thing I've had was the uh, the big craze that they had about the uh, spicy chicken sandwich from a uh, I think it's from Popeyes. That thing was pretty legit. Amelia Acres says I'm working on it. Amelia Acres is the channel name. First upload coming soon. All right, guys, so Amelia Akers, go over and check her channel out. She's going to have a video up soon. So she says, we'll see. I sure love how your place is so clean and organized, sir. You definitely aren't afraid of work. Thanks, Rick. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, before I had uh, my full-time job, then doing all this other stuff, and it was, it's hard to do everything. And uh, now I still have – I have my alarm set. I'm up at 7 a.m. every day, Monday through Monday, every single day. Um, I don't sleep in. I make sure I'm up. Even if I'm not doing anything, I'm up at 7 a.m. I'll start drinking coffee, and then I'll start doing whatever I need to do. But um, I got a lot of stuff done that I needed to get done so far. Do you dip it in ranch? Ooh. Uh, you talking about the okra? If so, I have not, but I probably will. That sounds good. <clears throat> Jill says eating okra is like eating hot snot. <laughs> Can't argue with you on that one. Uh, Paul Honeyman says, Jared Crocker, you have missed a super chat from Colby Ranch, buddy, and a few reminders. Did I? Now you got me scrolling back. That must have been a long time ago that I missed it because I'm scrolling way up. And of course, <laughs> Colby Ranch, you know I'm sorry for missing your comment. $4.99 Super Chat, money to buy more oil for your leg. <laughs> oh, man. If you're... <laughs> He's referring most likely to my last video when I was in the barn cleaning it. So my leg squeaks every once in a while. Actually, it was chirping or whistling at me. And uh, I had a little a uh, little can of uh, oil. And during the middle of the video, I stopped because it was making noise. It was bothering me. So I pull up my, my, my jeans and I put a little oil in my knees or in the joints. But that's what he's getting at. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I'm sorry I missed it. Ooh, I might have to try that Hat Creek Homestead. Dip some uh, ochre and ranch. Ooh, Chance Irvin says deep fried okra in ranch is the bomb. Sawyers are in here. I see somebody saying hello, Sawyers. What's up, Alex? And Jacob? If you guys haven't seen their uh, video recently, they, uh, which I went to the store three times this week and I, I got a lot of canned goods. I'll just say that a lot of canned goods. And, uh, after watching their video, I'll want one of those uh, racks that Jacob made. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, go to the Sawyers, check out their, uh, most recent video. Sheila Ross says, hey, Simply Southern, uh, I just watched your video on the seven-layer dip. Can't wait to try it. Sheila Ross, you, if you have not, or obviously you haven't tried it, but you're missing out. That's one of my that's one of my favorite dips ever. Sorry, my phone was beeping over here. Um, go over to Crocker Simply Southern. My mom made a seven-layer uh, dip. Oh, man. It's like eating a burrito if you just dip it in with the chip. It's, it's freaking amazing. Soy Ridge Farm, shoot dang. One of Jason's goats just made its way up to, made up our driveway. Should we roast it? <laughs> Apparently, Jason's talked to you. <laughs> That's funny. And we should. Oh, boiled okra. Oh, ugh. boiled okra does not sound good to me. It has to be fried okra. You know what, uh, Sawyer Ridge, we can uh, we can roast a goat as long as the Payne family, or the Payne family's invited, just not met. Fresh cut okra is best breaded and fried. That's what I'm talking about, Robert. Uh, <laughs> Betty Jean Holt, Holt Heinz. Heinsen says, I smashed it when I came in. That's right. I'm only seven likes away from 500. It's not bad, people. 
Pafford Homestead, what's up? Lila Newton, a five dollar super chat. Hey, hey, mom and dad. Hey, Matt Crocker. Uh, laugh out loud. <laughs> Thank you for that. Anyone have picked okra? I really like it. Yeah, like I said, we uh we had okra. I think it was one time, and uh, those things grow a lot bigger than I thought, and they grow quick. It, I was actually quite surprised. We've never grown anything like that, and you never know until you try it. Um, Miss Cold Beer Ranch, what's up? Oh my god, I saw that in your video. I'm freaking laughing so hard. <laughs> Oil can. I felt like the Tin Man from uh, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, I was like walking. I was like, shh, shh, and I'm like, oh, come on, quit squeaking. I'm trying to film a video here. So I figured, why not stop the video, put some oil in my leg, and move on. <laughs> At home with Tom Miranda, 999 Super Chat, number one fan. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm going to have to feature you all's uh, mug in my next video. Where are we at on time? 41 minutes? I'm going to go live for four more minutes. I'm going to do a 45-minute live, and that will give you guys 15 minutes to go from here and jump over to At Home with Tom and Rhonda at 8 o'clock. At least I hope that's right. That's what somebody said earlier. You're going live at 8. Um, in case you guys are just tuning in, uh, once again, I will be taking Daisy to the vet. She is going to get spayed on Tuesday. So uh, they said uh, I have to bring her to uh, Crandall, Texas, which is I think it's like 40 minutes south of where I live. And uh, I have to be there at 7 in the morning. So it's going to be an early morning to drop her off. Now pick her up at 4 in the afternoon. So Daisy will be getting fixed so that I won't have any little babies running around. Uh, but, yeah, I know I posted something on the community page about a uh, – I don't even remember what I posted earlier. Something about Daisy. But that's what I was hinting at, that she's going to get fixed. Uh, let's see. Crocker Simply Sutter said, Jared, you missed – and it's blank. What did I miss, Mom and Dad? The Payne family posted the Sawyer's link on there. My goal, I cannot let the Sawyer's have more subscribers than me by the end of this year. Alex, yes, she deserves it. But Jacob, I just cannot stand to see Jacob have more subscribers than me. It just irks, it irks my skin. I, sl I can't sleep at night thinking that Jacob has more subscribers than me. Just oh, oh, makes me want to just punch myself. Just kidding. Uh, these comments are just being dumb today. Not you guys, but it, it stops and it jumps up like 15 or 20 comments at once. I'm really sorry if I'm missing some comments here. Because I was mom and dad just posted something and then it went away. Mom, I got that one. I'm pretty sure. Let me go back up just to make sure. Sorry, this is the boring part. I'm trying to go back to the comments. I don't want to miss anybody's comments. <sighs> Lou Hicks and a $49.99 Super Chat. Get some groceries. I'm so sorry I missed that. Thank you so much for that. It's okay, So when I scroll all the way to the top, it's not even showing that. It went back up to where Jesus Girl put something on here. It's not letting me go further than that, but I'm really sorry that I missed your Super Chat. And if I did not miss it and my mom and dad are making a mistake, shame on you. That's the hard thing about trying to do these uh, chats. You have a lot of people uh, commenting stuff. That I feel like I miss things. And I tell people, if I miss your comment, comment again, comment again. Uh, I will try to get to your comments. I hate uh, I hate missing y'all's comments because when I'm in a live chat and I comment something and somebody misses, I'm like, man, you don't even read my comments. But 
I get it. There's a lot of comments, and they come and go sometimes, depending on your connection. All right. Well, I've been live for 45 minutes. You missed it, Jared. Oh, I got one comment that says, you did not miss that super chat. And the very next comment says, you missed it, Jared. <laughs> That's YouTube for you. <laughs> See, I didn't miss it. Somebody else said I didn't miss it. Somebody else said I caught it. So, yeah, Mom and Dad, now you guys, Mom and Dad owe me $49.99. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'm going to get off here. I've been on way too long, about 45 minutes too long, because it's 45 minutes and 33 seconds. But uh, if you guys don't mind, go over to uh, – at home with Tom Miranda, they're going to be going live at 8 o'clock. I'm going to be watching them. Hope you guys go over and watch them. If you uh, are new to their channel, tune in and say Jared Crocker sent you over. Um... <laughs> Jill Nelson. <laughs> Jill Nelson irks my skin. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, go over to At Home with Tom Miranda. Check out their live chat after this. Uh, check out my family's channels once again, Jason at the Crockers. Matt at the real Matt Crocker. I have him up here. Let's get him to 6,500. He's at 6,470. So we only need 30 subscribers to get him to 6,500. And of course, my parents at Crocker Simply Southern, they're almost at, I think, 7,500, I think, something like that. They might already be over it. If they are, they'll probably let you know. But <sighs> I'm tired of talking. Thank you for watching all my videos. I really do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for some uh, cool videos. Jason and Matt will be at my place soon, and uh, things are going to get wild. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Adios, people. Bye.